Hey, hi, hello, what's up? My name is Megan, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing part two of the eyeshadow declutter. If you haven't seen part one, be sure to go and check that out. Um, I did a fun little poll on my Instagram having people guess how many eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection. So I'm gonna put those right in here. These were all the guesses. I had ranges from, you know, 30 to 200 and some. So we had stuff kind of all over the board. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and get those up so you guys could see kind of what everyone guessed. And then at the end, I will do a total of how many we decluttered and how many we kept. So yeah, if that sounds fun to you, be sure to stay tuned. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell before you leave just so that you're notified of all my future uploads. And yeah, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But anyways, let's uh, let's declutter some eyeshadow. <music> Hey you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to part two slash finale of the eyeshadow palette declutter. Like I mentioned at the end, I will list how many total palettes I have and how many total palettes I decluttered. Um, I had everybody on Instagram guess, so that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So this first palette here is the, uh, it's from Pixie. This one is a hazelnut haze. I've used this quite a few times. I think that it is so pretty. I love the color story. It speaks fall. And honestly, this formula is so unique and different from anything else that I have in my collection. Like, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. But you need to try this out. The formula is freaking wild. Like, it's just so unique. And the color story is right up my alley. I... I love neutrals, so you know, you know, you know. Definitely going to hang on to this one. The next palette we have is Dear Santa by Kylie Cosmetics. This was like two years ago, the um, holiday launch. Really love this palette. The color story is so beautiful. I've gotten quite a bit of use from that. I even have pan in one shade. I honestly love Kylie's eyeshadow palette formula. Uh, I know she gets a lot of hate, but honestly, her eyeshadow palette formula is good. Um, I do like some of her other lippy formulas as well. And I'm honestly, I'm going to hang on to this one. I oh, need to move those. I love it. It's not going nowhere. The next palette I have is from ColourPop. This is a California love palette. I lusted after this forever, and then it was gifted to me by a friend. It's gotten some decent use out of it. I adore this shade here. The glitters in here are really pretty as well. Um, I'm definitely hanging on to this one. The color story is right up my alley, and ColourPop for the price is honestly like a pretty good formula. It's easy to work with. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit powder, powderier in my opinion, but overall, I really enjoy it, so I'm gonna hang on to it. The next palette we have is by Juvia's Place, the Nubian. I had actually won this in a giveaway. It's one of the little mini ones. I've never used it, never swatched it or anything. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Just because of my declutter pile, I'm going to see if friends and family want them, resell them where I can. So hopefully none of them actually end up in the trash. But this one is, yeah, going to go ahead and let this one go. Next, we have the Mandalorian from ColourPop. I had won this one in a giveaway as well. This shade, hmm. Uh, this shade came busted, but I was just able to repress it in there. I actually haven't <laughs> done an eye look with this palette yet, you guys. Are you even shocked? If you've watched part one, then you're not shocked. I have a knack for getting new makeup and then honestly neglecting it for old stuff that I love. Why am I like this? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this one because honestly, the color story calls to me. So yeah, hanging on to it. And this packaging is so cute, you guys. It's so cute. But yeah, anyways. 
The next palette we have is from Makeup by Mario. This was the Master Mattes. And I really like this. Um, if you if you're not a matte person, then you probably won't. Or if you're not even a neutrals gal, you probably won't. But in my opinion, this uh, palette is fairly versatile when it comes to the undertones and what you can do with it. So I really like this. Um, do I think it's something I like needed now that I have it with everything else? I don't think so. But I have it and I do enjoy it. And this is a good one to take like. When I'm traveling, it's just something basic, neutral, that I know will work really well. And then I can just take like a glittery topper or something like that if I want to spice the look up. Um, but definitely going to hang on to this one. The next palette I have is Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. I've done a handful of looks with this palette. And honestly, I feel like I would never be able to, to declutter just because the shade is so insane. And so is this shade. Um, <clears throat> the color payoff from these shades in here is crazy. Also, this is a duochrome. It shifts like matte pink to orange. So that's fun. Um, honestly, I haven't gotten a ton of use out of this palette, but I did do a one week, one palette with it. <clears throat> and I really enjoy the formula. I think it's a good one if you want to mix it up with some color. So for that reason, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it for now. The next palette is my e.l.f. and J. Kissa to the rescue. If you guys have watched me before, if you're, you know, not new to the game, you'll know that I love this palette. We have a pan in every shade. I did a really fun uh, rainbow palette pan off challenge with my girl Eleni over on Instagram. And yeah, I used the fuck out of this palette and I really like it. So it's definitely not going anywhere. Um, it's a really proud moment. And it's something that I think I will continue to reach for, um, if nothing more to just show like continued like progress on this palette. But yeah, really love this one and glad I was able to pick it up. Next we have New Nude from Huda Beauty. Mm. Ugh, if I can get it open here. So this was one of those palettes that I lusted for forever. Um, and then I got it from a friend on a super discounted rate in a while. Like, honestly, I like, hardly ever use this palette and I wanted it so bad. Like, I don't, I don't know. I need to put it in my rotation for sure. Um, the shades are all freaking gorgeous. Um, the, the tone is just like, they're all really mauve -y, pinky tone, which I'm starting to find that I don't really like those tones on myself all the time, uh, which, you know, screw me. I'm the one that picked it up. Yeah, yeah. But really love Huda's formula in general. The mattes blend out like effortlessly. They look great. Um, these textures are just hmm. And I actually really like this concealed shade. Uh, it does a really nice job of setting my eyes. So I think once I run out of my Urban Decay Potion Primer, I'm going to make this a focus just because I'm worried it might go bad sooner than some other things because it's stored in a palette but yeah I'm definitely going to keep this one I love this palette and Huda's formula the next palette is the Nabla Secrets palette I'm not gonna lie you guys this one was on the chopping block and it's not even because the formula is bad because it's not like the formula is so good there's just something about it that like I literally never use it um, I think it's the color story, story that like throws me off. I actually did like a whole Instagram post about it because I'm like, why do I not reach for this? And I really just think it's the pinks that throw me. They don't go with the browns and like this row here slaps, but like only together. I don't know. There's just something about this that throws me off, which is why I was like, you know what? I literally never use it. So I think I might declutter it. So um, I used it last week to kind of like gather my thoughts and try to decide. And I think for right now, I'm going to hang on to this one. Um, but it's definitely one, if I'm not getting a lot of use of in the future, I may go ahead and declutter it. But like just this shade is so freaking like unique. And so is like Rosemary and Fantasize. Like those shades are incredible. So 
right now I'm going to hang on to it, but it's definitely one I could see myself letting go of during next year's declutter, but staying for now. Okay, next we have Truly Madly Deeply. This is from ColourPop. I actually just used this one the other day. Um, I used this shade here as the nail topper uh, that I have on right now. ColourPop glitters tend to be pretty chunky and have a lot of fallout. So even though I like glitter, I don't use ColourPop ones on my eyes that much because of that reason. So I used it to top my fingernail polish and honestly, it worked out really well. I've gotten quite a bit of, well, it doesn't even look like it, but I've used this probably about 10 times, I would say. Uh, I really like the color story. I think that it's really beautiful. It's a cute pink palette. Uh, it's one that I definitely need to give a little bit more love to. That one is close to pan, so I think maybe one look and I would have a pan in that one. But yeah, I really like this. I like this. Um, interesting, this shade here has like a super pink undertone. I thought that was weird when I like reviewed it, but it honestly ties in with the other shades really nicely. But yeah, overall, I'm definitely, I'm definitely keeping this one. Next up, I have this Hourglass palette. This is the, the Obscura. This actually was uh, given to me by, well, decluttered to me by a friend. And it's so beautiful. The texture is, mm, the formula isn't bad, but it's not something that I reach for like ever. Uh, it made for some dope texture shots though, I will say that. But I think for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I know Hourglass is releasing some new shadows and like the the pan shape to me is just like not my vibe. Um, but yeah, um, this just like, I got it and I think I've only used it twice within the last year. So it doesn't really speak to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Next, I have a Nabla Glitter Quad. This one is the Ruby Lights one and wowza! How stinking beautiful. I've used this a handful of times and I love the Nabla glitter quads. They are literally some of my fave glitter quads. Uh, for that reason, I'm hanging on to this. There's no way I'm letting it go. If you like glitter, then I highly recommend these quads. So that being said, I also have the Miami Lights quad. I've gotten some really good use out of this one as well. And because I love them, I'm not letting them go, girl. These are like such great little um, topper palettes. So I'm definitely hanging on to these quads. The next palette we have is my Rotating Nine Pan, which if you guys have seen some of my other palettes, this is just kind of like some miscellaneous singles that I put into a nine pan and I rotate them out once I hit pan on them. Um, I believe two of these shades actually belong Yep, two of these shades actually belong in my Kylie Burgundy palette, this shade and this shade. Um, so I guess I'll just like do these two together. This is my Kylie Burgundy palette. Uh, I really love it. These pans are so deep, you guys. This was a bear. Um, but yeah, so this is two of them going here. I'm missing another shade somewhere, I guess. I don't know where. But this was my PTP um, last year. Really love this. The formula is still good. So I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this. And of course, I'll be hanging on to my project palette as well. The next one I have is the BH Smitten in Switzerland. Y'all, this is like my favorite drugstore palette probably. Um, it is so freaking good. This has gotten a lot of use. Um, I even have some dips starting to form, but the mattes blend is so beautifully. The freaking shimmers slap. The color story is insanely gorgeous. You can get so many different looks out of this. I highly recommend this palette to literally everyone. I'm like, you want to try a BH palette? Try this palette. Spin in Switzerland. It'll knock your socks off. So yeah, definitely not letting this one go. I'm, I'm obsessed. I love this palette. If it looks like there's a lot of cuts in this one, it's because there is. I have a really bad cold right now, so when I get my coughing fit, I have to pause the, uh, I have to pause it. So, yeah, sorry if it's a little jumpy. But the next one is ColourPop 
Little Ray of Sunshine. This freaking packaging is what sucked me in. It is so stinking cute. I love it. This is what the inside looks like. Another untouched palette. Um, yep, guilty is charged. Oh, here comes my dog. Um, but yeah, this one is so pretty. I'm sure it's consistent with the ColourPop formula, but obviously I haven't tried it yet. Um, I am going to go ahead and hang on to this. I might start a project of like using all the palettes I haven't used <laughs> because it's getting ridiculous. But yeah, definitely going to hang on to this one. The next palette is from Revlon. This is one of the, like, uh, that's so dub, one of their So Fierce palettes. I got this through Influencer. I got a dud. There's supposed to be a different shade in one of these, so it's, like, repeated. And I honestly thought about decluttering this, but I really like these two shades. They're really pretty. They're great toppers. They're good for, like, you know, um, just kind of, like, single look so i think for now i am gonna go ahead and hang on to this little palette the next one i have is from wet and wild uh this is an eyeshadow trio this one is um i don't even know but it's green um this was gifted to me by a friend it hasn't even been opened yet or anything this one too actually um they haven't been opened they're really pretty but i just feel like i won't reach for them just because they are smaller and i'm like a you know i reach for like bigger palettes more often i guess um and since they haven't been opened i just feel like someone else would probably get better use for them just because i do have a lot of greens and pinks in my collection so i think i'm gonna go ahead and let these little babies go the next one is from Elman Beauty. This is just like a little duo. This was also, de this was decluttered to me by a friend. Um, and like, honestly, that shade right there, like, I don't even know if you guys can, if it like picks it up, like how pretty it is. But this shade would be an insane topper. Um, and I don't know, they probably go well, like layered together. I want to try this duo first um, before I declutter it. And then if I decide, you know, I don't want it, then maybe it'll be in next year's declutter. We'll see. But wow, that shade is gorge. So I'm going to hang on to this little baby duo for now. Next is the Alchemist palette from KVD. I got this for um, Christmas a couple years ago. And they're all like holographic shades. So... They're going to look super plain on camera. They're all going to look like the same. But the shifts that these have, like I'm like this one's getting a little crumbly, but the shifts that these have, I don't know if you guys can see them. I can see them are crazy. Look at that pink. This one's like that blue shift. They're literally so beautiful. I use these as um, highlights and as like eyeshadow like highlights like inner corner highlights and stuff they're super pretty i really like them so i'm gonna go ahead and hang on to this one for now next is gonna be the pat mcgrath uh sublime palette i did a horror review on this on my instagram um <laughs> it wasn't raving that is for sure i really love this shade and formula it's beautiful and then i also really love this green one like i love those two shades um this one over here is a really nice duo chrome as well but it's not a like a like a see you can probably see the swatch is better on my fingers actually but it's not a good cohesive palette like this shade is crusty crusty crumbles this one is super dry and like patchy so I don't know. I I might depot those three shades. Um I haven't really decided yet. So for now I'm gonna hang on to this, but for the record, I think that this is overpriced and the packaging is cheap. <laughs> the next palette is from Natasha Denona. This is the mini gold palette. 
I actually just got this in my wish list swap with Taylor. I haven't even used it yet. It's super new to my collection. It's on my vanity to use. Uh, but I just want to state these are tiny, like so, so, so tiny. Um, I feel like they always look so much better and are, like bigger and everyone's like flat lays and photos. Um, but they are tiny. But yeah, I really love the color story of this. So I'm really hoping that I will enjoy the formula um, and have a little bit better luck with the shades and undertones on this one. So yep, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this. Next one is from Huda Beauty. This is the Chocolate Brown. This is from one of her newer collections. Um, this one has gotten some good use so far. I love Huda's formula. It is so good. Um, you know, I went on about it and about the uh, new nude, but it is so good. I always love the texture she includes and in her palettes. The color stories are always cohesive. This one is no different than that. Um, I actually have a review that'll be going up soon, hopefully. But yeah, really love this palette. Um, gonna hang on to it, full show. <clears throat> Next, another one from Huda is the Topaz Obsessions. I also love this palette. These two shades are a little too similar for my preference in a palette but I love all the other shades. They work really well together. I've created some beautiful looks last fall with this and I love it. Um, I feel like for the price, this packaging is a little bit cheap. I would have preferred it to be in a package like this, the chocolate brown one, because uh, this is still fairly, you know, expensive for nine shades, but the formula is good and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Next palette I have is from Believe Beauty. You can pick this up at like your local Dollar General. This is Golden Disco. I've done I think like only like two looks with this, but um, like this is a like a sparkly matte which I don't really like. Um, this is the same. This is a really nice shimmer. This gold shade is hoo hoo hoo. Um, overall, I don't know. I really love the different color story of this, but I haven't really, um, that shade looks really pretty. Well, that might blend out to be like super dark. Um, man, now I'm like contemplating this. I thought I was going to keep it for sure. Um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. And it's not because, like, I just feel like that undertone is going to look a lot like that one on the eye, the black. Um, and I have a lot of, you know, really pretty golds in my collection. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I also have this one from Believe Beauty. This is the Nearly Nude palette. This is a really beautiful neutral palette. I wish that it had... Um, one deeper, like one shadow that was matte between those two for a nice transition. That's the only thing I feel like is missing from this one. But I've created some really beautiful looks with this. So I am going to go ahead and hang on to it. This is a really good drugstore favorite. This palette was literally five bucks. Um, the packaging is nice. The shadows are good. So yeah, definitely going to hang on to this one. The next palette is from Beach Cosmetics. This is a Summer in Tropez palette. Um, this was like an impulse buy and I've only used it like twice, but consistent with the BH formula, it's really good. So I just think that the color story is a little bit um, of a mess for me or doesn't really like call to me, which is why I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it. but. This one has a lot of really pretty unique shades. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell the shift in Coastline, Exotic, Marina. These are really unique shades in my opinion. So, I don't know. For now, I think I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this. But I could definitely see this one being decluttered in the future. The next palette is from Lurella. This one is called the Sweetheart Palette. I literally just got this the other day. Um, I signed up for Tribe Beauty Box and this is what came in it. So I haven't even had the chance to try this out yet, but it has a lot of really pretty bright pinks in it. So that's fun. 
Um, but for that reason, like it's, it's not going to go anywhere. I want to keep it. I want to try out the formula, um, and see how I like it. The packaging is super pretty, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this one. The next palette is also newer to my collection. This is the KKW camo palette. This was on sale and I could not resist. I snagged it. I figured it would eventually go on sale. So I waited, I bided my time and she did. 25% off felt pretty good. I haven't even swatched it or anything, um, but this feels really nice. Definitely a little more high quality than her other palettes that I have. Um, like this feels heavier, but yeah, really love this color story and I'm very excited to play with it, but yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna stay in my collection, adding to my little KKW corner. <laughs> Next, I have the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. This came in a boxy charm, and a friend had sent it to me. I initially thought this color story was gorgeous. I loved it, and I thought this would be perfect right up my alley. However, these two shades, they don't look like it, but when you put them on the eye, they are the same. It is so weird. The today that I'm filming this, I used it, and I just wore this shade. And it was literally the same color as that. It, it's crazy. I don't know how the shade, how the undertone shifts like that. Um, but again, it's another palette where she's got like duplicate shades. And it just makes me, I don't want to reach for this if like I have, you know, four colors instead of five or whatever. So that was an issue for me. Um, and then with this one, since I did try the Natasha Denona Bronze, this formula isn't consistent with the um, shimmers that were in the bronze palette. So that was a little disappointing. It's still like really pretty though, the shimmer is. But like honestly, I can pull the same look in my Huda palette or my, you know, Tati Beauty palette that I can get from this one. And yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just really still not sold on Natasha Denona's formula. Like it's just not... It's not all that in a bag of chips to me. So yeah, I'm gonna actually go ahead and declutter this one as well. The next palette is Sultry from ABH. Look at this. I got this during the holiday season for like a freaking steal. And wouldn't you know, I haven't used it yet, you guys. <laughs> Somebody slap me. <laughs> So yeah, I can't really attest to the formula or anything, but man, this one looks so stinking pretty. Um, I definitely need to use it. And honestly, the packaging is just right up my alley, chef's kiss. So yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one still. The next one, we're winding down here, you guys. We're almost to the end. This is the Nudie Patootie from Laura Lee. I actually picked this up from someone on uh, Maricari. I really like her packaging, how it's this like long, elongated palette. I think that that's really sleek. Uh, I've used this a handful of times. It's really good. Uh, I really enjoy it. I don't really think that this palette gets that much hype, but honestly, the mattes blend out so well, super buttery, and the shimmer shades are also gorgeous. I've created a lot of really pretty looks with this. I feel like the undertones in this palette are super unique to my collection personally. So I'm really excited to have this one and she gonna stay. She gonna stay. The next one is Candy Skies from Laura Lee. I just got this one not that long ago, but as you can see, it has gotten some love. I did a full review on this palette. Um... Honestly, the pastels are phenomenal. They by far exceeded my expectations, as I mentioned in my review. And the shimmers like blew me out of the water. Um, the shifts in them, the formulation, the creaminess, like they are so good. Like this is a palette that you stop using it and you want to continue reaching for it. So I'm definitely hanging on to this one. It's not going anywhere. It's beautiful and it's literally so good. I'm I'm so happy that I picked it up. Then the last palette, the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess. This is my only Lunar Beauty palette that I have. And I only tried it recently. Um, <clears throat> I've used, I put my finger through that one if you can't tell. Um, but I've used a couple of the matte shades and I think one of the shimmer shades. So 
I don't have for like, you know, full thoughts on it, but my first impressions of it were really good. Um, I think the color story is beautiful. The packaging is also gorgeous. I don't think you can get this one anymore. I think it's been discontinued. Um, so yeah, I don't know. For now, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it just because I haven't really used it enough to know if I love it or if I hate it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hang on to this one. So I kind of just wanted to recap a little bit. We decluttered a total of 10 palettes, which honestly, I think is pretty good. It is more than I had actually thought that I would declutter. I figured I'd only do like three to five. So yay. Um, but so I did the Physicians Formula, this palette, this LA Girl palette, this LA Girl palette, um, and then this Morphe palette. I forget which one it is, but that's what it looks like. I don't want to look at it too long because if you remember from part one, I had a hard time letting that one go. My out this hourglass palette, indie palette, believe beauty palette this Nubian by Juvia's Place, and then these two Wet n Wild palettes. So decluttered a total of 10 palettes, which like I said, is pretty good. Okay guys, so that is it for my eyeshadow declutter. We ended up totaling um, 10 decluttered palettes as I talked about earlier, and I ended up keeping 57. To some that might seem like a lot, to some that might not seem like a lot at all. Uh, I'm very happy with that number. I love makeup. I love eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite categories and I'm not going to throw anything away that I'm not ready to let go of yet because either, you know, I don't like it or it's ex like way past expiration. So I kept the items that I liked and I'm okay with that. I don't think I have any more like categories where I need to do big declutter. So if you guys would like to see other category specific videos and then let me know and I can do that with like bronzers or single shadows um and then group some together like skin tints moisture like you know all the things so let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing I hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up you know the drill um also I do have a whole declutter series on my page if you want to check that out as well yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one